Good morning, everyone. So today we're gonna to be doing some meal prep. I get a lot of questions on how I do my meal prep. What do I do? You don't understand what I'm doing. It doesn't make any sense to you. So I thought I would show you exactly what we do on our meal prep from start to finish. And the format of this video is just gonna be us hanging out, Kevin and I talking, as we usually do when we're doing our meal prep. And then you guys kind of sitting around the island with me, just having a little chit chat while we meal prep. So to be clear, I don't prepare something and then make like four or five of it. So you know how sometimes people will get their meal prep containers out and maybe they'll do whatever dish it is they're doing, chicken enchiladas. And then they'll portion that out in their little sort of Tupperwares and they'll make four or five of them for the week. I don't do that because a couple reasons. One, a lot of times I change my mind. You know, maybe in the morning I think I want to eat one thing, but then by the time evening rolls around, I feel like something different. So that's one of the reasons. And then the other reason is that I feel like most of the time things don't reheat well. There are some things that I think do reheat well, and those are the things that I will cook and then reheat. Like for example, my chicken burgers, those reheat perfectly fine. Chili, that reheats perfectly fine. Soup, those kind of things. Sometimes even pasta will work. Not always, but sometimes. But things like pork, to me, when you reheat pork, it dries out and it's gross. So for that reason, the way that I do my meal prep is kind of more of a, I call it buffet style, but you know, the connotation of buffet means like food festival. That's not what we're doing around here. We're not doing a food festival, but it's more like really preparatory. Am I saying that right? Preparatory, preparatory meal prep. So, so we'll do, do our things that we're going to prep for the week, things that we're going to cook or things that we're going to eat as they are. So things that we're going to eat as they are would be things like the fruit. So strawberries, blueberries, sometimes Kevin likes to do watermelon or cantaloupe, things like that. Pineapple. I mainly eat frozen fruit. That's just my thing. I like frozen fruit better, but I will eat strawberries. I do like strawberries. So we do our fruit and then we do our vegetables. Again, things that we're going to eat predominantly as they are. So you've got broccoli, you've got cauliflower, you've got cucumbers. You guys know how I feel about my cucumbers. So we'll get that all ready. Even asparagus, which obviously you're not going to eat the asparagus raw, but I guess you could. But I like to have it just ready to go. Washed, clean, pop it on the skillet, you're good to go. Then we also do things that are mainly um, cooking items like onions, red onions, things like that that are gonna be peppers. Kevin will eat peppers, I don't for the most part. I usually will cook with peppers, but I don't eat them raw. So we do all of those and then we move on to proteins. So with the proteins, we will season the proteins. So this week we're gonna do chicken and hamburgers and then Kevin also bought some sirloin that he will season. So that serves a lot of purpose for us. You've got, if you're gonna marinate something, you've got it ready to go marinating nice and tender and juicy and ready to hit the grill. And if not, things like our foil pack, yes, that is sort of a marinade to some degree. It's more like a dry rub. But the main thing with that is we have that chicken all kind of, you know, get the fat off of it, the weird whatever things that are in chicken, get that all cut out, get the chicken cubed up, get it seasoned, and then you have it ready to go. In the morning, if you're going to work, you can just pull it out of the freezer, you know, let it sit out so that it thaws out when you get home you can make it. So that is what is involved in my meal prep. I am not usually, sometimes I am, but I'm not usually preparing an entire meal and then sectioning it out in meal prep containers. I'm usually doing what I call a buffet style meal prep and it's just getting ready to cook and have success for the week. So I hope that helps you guys. Let's jump into the meal prep. 
It's about 7.45 in the morning and I came out and I saw that Kevin had already started our meal prep for the morning. So I decided to go ahead and start filming, bring you guys along. So there's not a lot of editing in here. We're just kind of winging it. I get a lot of questions about our meal prepping. And this is about the amount that Kevin puts in our foil pack chicken little envelopes that we make every single week it's i don't know kevin what would you say like two tablespoons two tablespoons and if you don't have enough seasoning when you mix it in the bag just add a little bit more to it yeah because we like to show color on the chicken and we use three different flavors too here show the flavors we use that one so that spicy chicken sprinkle which is just like obviously what it says, a chicken seasoning with a little kick. Then we have this barbecue chicken rub. We really like that one. Really good. I'll link any of this below. This is one of our favorites too. Yeah, this is one of our it's favorites. It's a little spicy if you put too much on it. New Orleans Cajun seasoning. That's Weber. You should be able to get that at a grocery store. Yep. And that's pretty much it. See now, Kevin uses the Pam olive oil spray and he basically just sprays the inside of his little, what do I want to call them, Kevin? Freezer bags. Your freezer beds. Yeah, he just sprays the inside so it doesn't stick. And then we're also going to do strawberries, colored peppers, of course, our beloved cucumbers. And then we're also going to do some burgers. I like to do burgers every now and again. So we get... Oh, we also have, what is that? Beef loin top sirloin, and you've got chicken down in there. Thawing. Chicken's in there. I never put chicken on the counter. Yeah. Chicken is down in this. Here. Let me grab it. The big one. Costco. The big one, yeah. So that's down in there thawing out. So we plan to be very prepared this week for our eating. I can't really put a thought together this morning. Did you notice that? Sometimes that's a good thing. <laughs> you know why? Because your thoughts usually cost me time of doing something. Oh my gosh. Do you guys hear that? I've only had a half a cup of coffee. That's the problem. So kind of a, I thought maybe we could kind of hang out together. Like I said, you guys always ask me about meal prepping. And so while Kevin and I are sitting here, you guys can kind of gather around the island with us. So the first thing we always do is the vegetables. Obviously, we do the protein last because, you know. Cross-contamination. Yes, cross-contamination. And so over there, Kevin, you've got the trash can moved, right? Correct. So we usually put the cutting board right by the sink, the trash can right by the the cutting board in the sink so that we can peel the vegetables right down in and then we just move it and put it back. It's just easier. Hands are washed also, by the way. Yes, always wash your hands. So I know these are the basics, but just simply taking that trash can and putting it where you're working as opposed to moving it constantly. I don't know if you're new to meal prep, it might not occur to you. And sometimes it takes two or three times to get it right. So little simple basic thing. So, Kevin, do you want to tell everybody how you're going to, this is day one of really getting this going? Again. Yep, that's okay, though. Hopefully one day it sticks. Well, you know what? Whenever we eat like this, when we prep and we're really conscious of it, we both do a lot better. It just works out that way. Every I'm trying to lose some weight for golf. Yeah. Kevin's been golfing a lot. And you know, this might sound stupid or silly or whatever, but when you're bigger, when your stomach's bigger, you know, when you're, your whole middle section, myself included, when that's bigger, it's hard to golf because your swing's out of whack, don't you think? That's my excuse. But is that true though? I feel it is. My arm's coming around, getting pushed out. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to, to golf better. And honestly, you know, where we live, Kevin golfs all the time. I do not. But it is good exercise. If you've ever tried to swing a golf club all day long, I mean, that really is good exercise, I think. Don't those cucumbers look great? Oh, my gosh. 
All right, you guys. So I'm going to drink a little more of my coffee and wake up. I don't think we need to even write a date on those because we go through them pretty quickly. Only do like one onion because maybe even probably do two onions. You know, to throw over, over burgers that I'll do this week, I think that'd be really good. Oh, don't film that. <laughs> don't film that. You should put that as a whoopsie. Okay, I'm purposely not editing this video, but please, the cutting technique. I, I just cringe watching this because he's lucky to have fingers. But if I want any help, I have to not critique the cutting methods. You know, Kevin, before you do the hamburger, would you absolutely lose it if I asked you to do one more white onion? Because I'll probably use half of this easily for to go with green beans. So if we're also going to do burgers, then I'd like to caramelize down some onions for the burgers. You guys notice he left. I don't use caramelized onions on my burgers, by the way. I know, but I do. What are you looking for? Onions. They're right here. They're right there on the on the stove. On the stove. <laughs> you didn't move them. They've been there the whole time. They were in the laundry room. Yes, I know. Do onions belong in the laundry room? In the pantry. I moved them yesterday. Eleven year old child. With anger issues. All right, what are you doing? Gourmet burgers? Yes. Can we add garlic? I don't really like garlic on my hamburger. That makes it almost taste like a meatball. You think so? Yep. And you don't need salt in that, because I bet there's salt in it. I don't put no it. salt and pepper, nothing. I just use this. All right, what's this in This is that? all I use. Let me see. All right, let's see. Oh, see, number one ingredient is salt, dried onion, spices, dried garlic, sugar, chili pepper, rice concentrate, I don't know what that is, tomato powder, dried red bell pepper, natural smoke and grill flavor. See, this is predominantly salt. You know what, Kevin, I was, I was telling our friends here on the YouTube channel? that a lot of these national brand spices, the first ingredient is salt. So you're kind of buying a big container of salt, which is why we should be mixing our own seasoning. I'm really thinking about doing that. Okay, Kevin, so because we were over there looking at spices, you just, all you did was flatten those out with your hand. 
And then you just put the seasoning on them, that's it? Correct, and I will put them in the freezer for a little bit till they kind of harden back up and then we'll put them in a Ziploc bag, four in each bag. That okay. Because it's just me and you. Right. And I'll, we'll make four and then I'll have one later for, for next day or something to warm up. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right, next up we're gonna work on the sirloin. I say we, but it's actually Kevin. Now, what are you going to put on those? Two. I'm going to do two of them with the cowboy. What's in the cowboy seasoning? Salt. <laughs> Flip it around. I'll see if I can read it. All right. Sea salt, sugar, spices, dried garlic, paprika, chili pepper, cocoa. That's interesting. Red pepper. And then something to prevent caking. And then, are you gonna do all of them with that, or? No, I'm doing two with this, the cowboy. Okay. And then two with steak seasoning. Savory Steakhouse, let's see what's in that. So that one, sea salt, dried garlic, sugar, spices, dried onion, chili pepper, red pepper. They're all- A little all, different, yeah. Yeah. A little different, that's why. They smell a lot different, that's for sure. Well, they should be different. So no olive oil, you just kind of... No, I'm just going to season them just like this and let them put them in a bag. Okay, push them down and they're good to go. Mm -hmm. Now, see you guys, I will not... I couldn't even eat a quarter of that. What's the pounds on this? Nine and a half no, pounds. 3.32. Oh, okay. Got it. 3.32. So we've got four. So these are like about three quarters of a pound each. Does that sound right? Yeah. All right. Here's where we are in the process so far. Got our hamburger done. We have our steaks done. All of our vegetables are done. I wish I had carrots, but I don't. Strawberries, we're not gonna do any other fruit. Don't we have some blueberries? We have blueberries and grapes. Hmm, okay. We probably don't need to do I any. wanna clean the grapes and put them in one of these. Okay, well then we might as well do the blueberries too. So next up will be chicken. No, I'll do the blueberries first. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You've got to wash your hands really good though because we already work with protein. Normally we try to work with fruits, then vegetables, then proteins last, but and we kind of, yeah, we zigzagged a little bit. How many chicken breasts do you do per? I put two per pack. Sizes vary, so the quantity varies, but they're pretty equal. And always, one hand always touches the chicken, the other hand doesn't. Okay. That way, I don't get anything on the outside of the bag. See, like my knife, it's mm -hmm. only this one side. And this hand goes in and grabs the other one. Okay, we made it to the end. This was a one hour meal prep for all of this good stuff. So we have blueberries, grapes, strawberries, English cucumbers, peppers, two types of onions, ground beef. We also did hamburgers, as you know, and seasoned them. We have our sirloin steaks ready to go and seasoned. And then we have six foil packed chicken packets, which will be 12 chicken breasts. And there are our burgers again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know. And I will continue to do the meal prep One videos. Hour's time. See you Enjoy soon. That. Awesome. One hour's time and then you're good for two weeks. Just about. Just about. Just about. Fabulous. <laughs>